Are you ready to take your Amazon game to the next level? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do profitable product research and find unique products that you can sell right now on Amazon while skyrocketing your business. I'm going to be talking about a unique product research method called store sniping. Let's get started. One of the toughest decisions that any Amazon seller has to make, what to sell on Amazon. That's why this video is going to go through a three-step process. First, find, rate, and then keep or remove. Very simple process that can help you identify products to sell on Amazon, but in a different format. Before we get started, congratulations to the winner. If you want to win a consultation call with me, all you need to do is just leave me a comment in the comment section below. Make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to the channel. If you want to learn a little bit more how Amazon Sellers Society can help you skyrocket your Amazon business in the Middle East, make sure that you book a call with our team. I'll leave all of the links in the description box of this video or simply visit our website. Now the store sniping method starts off with find. Basically, you need to either think of a general product such as this water bottle, or you can just jump on Amazon itself and look at the best selling products or even look at other marketplaces. Now, because we're based in the Middle East and we focus on Amazon in the Middle East, I'm going to be using Amazon UAE as an example, but this method can be used on any marketplace. I'm also going to be using the tools from Helium 10, but you can also use any tool that you like. And by the way, if you want a discount code to use Helium 10, I will leave the discount code somewhere on the screen or we'll also leave it in the description box of this video. So the whole concept of store sniping basically starts with you either going into the bestseller list and finding a product that resonates with you that you think might be interesting or simply go to, for example, Noon, which is also a very strong marketplace in the UAE and check the bestseller list as well and look at other products. The next step would be to go into that best-selling product on Amazon because that's where we're going to be selling it. So I found this Montessori toy that is crushing it on Amazon. This, if I were to open the Helium 10 drop-down extension, then you will find that the product is selling almost 930 units per month with a revenue, an estimated revenue, of course, these are estimated numbers, of 23,000 dirhams. So this is a good product, however, probably doing very well because it's the Montessori brand and maybe also because it's very, very low in price. But that's not the idea of store sniping. The idea of store sniping is finding a product that's selling very well and then looking at the seller's store because the concept is basically if that seller has one product that is best selling, then they might have other products inside of their store that are also best selling products. However, those products, maybe you wouldn't even think of selling or maybe you wouldn't find them traditionally using the traditional methods. So I'm on this seller's store. And as you can see, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find see all products currently offered by the seller, simply click on it. And the seller currently has a lot of products that they're selling. So, for example, this portable washer that just washes your car. I would have never thought about this product. So it's interesting, but I'm going to skip it. Dinosaur egg kit. Interesting. Some laptop stickers. This product is really cool. However, I know there's a lot of competition for this product. Outdoor changing clothes. That's cool. These are really, really nice. Let's actually look at this one, which is a jewelry storage box. Let's go into the listing itself. So once I'm on the listing, you can also use any software that you like. Again, I'm going to be using Helium 10 just to try to assess the sales of this product. So after the find, we go into rate, but we're not only rating this seller, we're going to be rating the whole category. So here we go. We're looking at this product in particular. So it's estimated that it's doing 188 sales and getting about 10,000 dirhams in revenue. If this is something that matches what you want and the type of revenue that you're happy with, then this is a product that you might be proceeding with. 
But first, we're still at the rate section. What we need to do is we need to look at the main keyword. So in this case, the main keyword is gonna be jewelry storage box. And I wanna look at all of the category or rather all of the products that pop up under jewelry storage box. The reason for this is I wanna ensure that the sales are not done by only one seller. I wanna ensure that the sales are kind of equal to the top five sellers at least, just so that I can assume that there's enough demand for me to sell the, the product and that it's not basically dominated by one brand. So again, using the drop down extension, the X-ray product research, once I get all of the data, there we go, I will remove all of the ads just because they're not organically there. That's the only reason. So let me delete those. Yep, remove them. And then I'm gonna have all of the organic listings. So the listing that I was just looking at, which is the first one right here by Cool Baby, is getting 188. The second one is even though it's ranked second and it has a really, really high BSR, it might be newly launched as an example, but it's only getting 25 sales. So there needs to be a little bit more research as to why. Definitely one of the reasons could be is because this one is selling at almost double the price as everyone else. Second product is doing 119. And then after that, you've got also 25, also 77, 72. So not bad at all. I could say that they are equally distributed not too much most of the sales are going to cool baby so it might be that this product um, or this brand is very well known now after you look at all of those details this is where you will decide whether to add this product into your product research sheet or you will remove it definitely based on the criteria that we just saw I would suggest that this is a good product to add however you would need to do a little bit more deep diving to understand why this cool baby brand is doing so many sales, whereas the others are not getting enough sales. Now, after you filled out your sheet in step number three, then what you need to do is to move on and go find suppliers because you're still at the idea initiation phase. And the only way to try to understand whether a product can be sold on Amazon close to the numbers that we find other sellers selling the product is to reach out to suppliers and find interesting suppliers that can provide different types of products, especially if you are doing a private label. If you want additional information and more ways to find successful products to sell on Amazon, make sure you check out our free training because I'll show you different ways, additional ways to research and find products to sell on Amazon. And as always, I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.